What's up, guys? Welcome to Team Talk Newark. My name is Alyssa, and I'm here with my boys, Makai and Brian. What's up? What's up? How you guys doing today? Good. Good morning. It's a good morning. Today, we're talking about we. Um, we have our producer, Brian, here to tell a story. But before we get to that, we're going to state a couple of facts about we. Um, Weed is depicted as a drug that many believe is in the same category as cocaine, which is why it's been um, deemed illegal since 1937, a part of the um, marijuana tax. Can I ask you something? Act. Do you think it should be legal? Um, yes. Why? No For medical purposes. Such as? Um, it helps procedures and cancer. It helps fighting cancer. It helps um, prevent the, the cells to keep expanding. So, so you're telling me that you use weed to... To help with diseases. To help with diseases? That, help, that's help, your reason. No, no, no it, I said it wrong. I, it helps fight off some diseases. Like and what? For example, a seizure. Um, it calms the nerves of the, the victim. It also messes up your way of thinking. You could um Not affect your. So do you think it's should be legal? I think it shouldn't be legal. Um, it messes with your brain. It does calm you at times, and it does calm your nerves, but many people don't notice it can also enhance the chances of you getting a tumor. Another thing that people may realize is that uh, California, in California, it is legal to have weed, and it was legalized in 1996, which ended a 59-year reign of illegal weed. Um, do you think, how long do you think it'll be until it is legal in New Jersey? Soon. Yeah, pretty soon. What? A lot of states are unlegalizing it, so it should be really... Right. It's going to be legal soon, that's all I can say. I'm not saying it's like next week, or next month, but it's going to be legal soon, basically. So you think weed is a drug? Uh, I would label it as a it's drug. It's a plant. It's, it's a herb. It's an yeah. herb, but can be used as a drug. It also, yes, as Brian said, it depends on how you use it. If you use it in a sense of... It's like steroids. Every single like steroids. day, like, your body's going to get used to that and want it more, and you're going to have no choice but to get it. And that's how, no offense, fiends are made. Do you think weed can lead into other drugs? Um, yes. Why? Yes. Because um, people, some people like the buzz. You feel me? Like, they, like, they like to get high up in the clouds and forget about whatever it is they're getting mad about or feeling sad. Okay. And it also depends around who you hang around that's true. because if you're smoking weed depending on the people you hang around they may want to transition you into things such as heroin or cocaine and a very scary drug such as k2 but that has been the end of this segment we're going to go to a quick break and we're going to go transition to the next segment thank what? you for listening <laughs> another segment and another topic but I believe that we need more clarity because what is weed even made of? It's uh it's made out of two components C B D and T C H. And what are those? Um <laughs> wait, don't laugh, don't laugh. Don't laugh. I love you made me laugh. C B D is is a main component. It makes you it helps with a healing process. And it, it's T, TCH is what gets you high. So THC, sorry. So THC is basically like what gets you addicted. No. So why is it not legal here in New York, but not yet? It's legal in Cali. Are they losing money? No, they're actually. That's that's the hot spot in my opinion. If you want to go down there, get medicine, you get. It's legal, so you can. It's like Amsterdam, pretty much. Uh. In my opinion, I think the reason why weed isn't legal is because they know the effects of weed and they know how harmful it can be. Um, how harmful can it be? Basically, like I said before, it's very addictive and it is a different pathway to other drugs. Um, it, depending on who you do it around, the people you hang out with, it also you know, it influences people. Um, I wouldn't say or say that it should be illegal because you know we have doing we does have its you know purposes you know helping out with cancer and all of that but you know it also does as much good as it does bad I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you but in my opinion if you smoke and you let it take over you you're a loser to begin with 
if, if it comes to that. So you should just have some control. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you know your limits. Yeah, exactly. But you gotta yeah, understand there, there are people out there who become very addicted to different kinds of drugs and weed in that particular instance. So you can't just say you're a loser straight off the bat because you got addicted to something. But whose fault is it if you try something? No, you, you know you're gonna try it. And then if you want other things, that's you, that's your choice. It's not, okay, not the word. Okay, say me? for instance, you do weed once, you uh, wanna do it again. Once you do it a couple of times, isn't your body going to become used to that? Yeah, so yeah. you're gonna want like that more level and more feeling again. Yes, and once that becomes a factor, and you feel as though you come to a point where weed isn't enough, where's your next level to go to? Um, that that's another question, not to me, because I'm not a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, weed leads to weed leads to different, you know drugs is kind of like a pathway once you become addicted and you become so addicted where you'd want to feel that same level of feeling just on a different level. Do you think you'll get judged for smoking weed? Um, yeah, you do get judged. Yeah, depending on who that judged. person is, whether they feel as though weed is good or bad, you do get nah, judged. In personal opinion, it happened to one of my friends. She had a friend, a long time friend, they were growing up and she started smoking and hanging out with a crowd that was fit for her. And his friend told her, look, I'm not gonna be your friend because you're really smoking and I don't like people. And that's something that really gets to me because you can't let the weed define you or the, your friends. Say if we're friends and you're smoking and I cut you off and you smoke, that's that's messed up in my opinion. Because what what's the point of it? Like, there's no reason for that. But you people up. people who smoke cigarettes, which is way worse, and they don't get judged. Um let me just say that people do get judged for smoking cigarettes because but weed is more judgmental because who who does it mostly? Adults or teens? Teens. Teens. All right, and it looks bad because it's a drug. Yada yada yada. But why don't adults agree with it? I don't know. There were teens one time too. You feel me? That's something I don't understand. But you think it's more popular now? You definitely. think it's like a trend? Definitely. Um, but yes, um, we're going to start moving on from this topic. Um, if you want to hear more about it, just let us know. And Comment thank you. Below. Comment down below. <laughs> like and subscribe, please. <laughs> Black Excellence Tour, How a Homecoming 2016. We here. Me and my brother, G. Breezy. You know, Shai's in the building. And he provided a lot of commentary for the night, that's why he's the rest. So he's a he's a weekend resident, you know, Urban Wall Street correspondent for the Black Excellence Tour. He gonna drop them bombs. I know you're tired of seeing here from me. Two games from the good doc. You know, it's a it's a family affair, you know what I mean? Urban Wall Street, you know, I'm just you know how they got the you know the Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant situation back then. It's like that, you know what I mean? We, we taking it to the whole, we both both people though. We doing both. We got the three-point joint, long range, micro, macro. Um, but we also take it to the hole. We keep it on the streets. We keep it grimy. So we straddle both. You know what I mean? Micro, macro. So, you know, you might, pardon my basketball analogy, but it, it goes down. We here, homecoming, 2016, baby. All right, we're back, guys. And before we get into the homecoming, we're going to finish off this topic. Um, one of our producers, Carla, had a few things she wanted to say about it. So, how do you feel? Um, I feel like marijuana should have been legalized a long time ago because it was popular, but it wasn't as known because a lot of people weren't like saying it since it was illegal. But I feel like more people are just like, we might as well do it. It's going to be like legal anyway. So that's why there's like more people like, you know, that smoke weed and there's like more people that you know about it. And yeah. You think it'll benefit us? I think it would economic wise because it does help like other like the more money that comes in from it the more that other things could benefit like schools hospitals medicine um so i feel like there's like a lot that could benefit just because of that one thing i think we should be legal i think the only reason it is illegal is because most of the people who smoke weed is black and if you get caught smoking weed which is illegal you're gonna go to jail and then that's getting, making a state more and more money. Each person that go to jail for selling weed or smoking weed. You think they get more money from selling weed or from locking people up? Locking people up. Locking people. We're back, we 
have Makai here, and he has a rebuttal. Basically, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that weed is bad. There is also good ways to use weed. However, once you start using it heavily, it can become addictive, such as any other thing. If you have a routine, that can become addictive. Anything is addictive. You think basically. you get addicted to the, the way it makes you feel? The way it makes you feel, the way... Anything, basically, that you like about weed, it can become addictive and make you want to do it more and more, especially once you start doing it on a daily basis. I'm not saying once you do it once, you'll automatically become addicted to it, but at the end of the day, it, once you do it on a daily basis, you'll want it more and more. Supreme, do you agree with that? No. If, if you become addicted to weed, that's you. You want to boost your high. That's what you think. If you go to sign up besides weed, that's you. You chose to do that. Weed is something different that, from other drugs. If you, you, you could be addicted to one type of weed. You, that's like another level. Like, you got to understand that addiction isn't just based off of you. You got to understand that addiction is based off of how many times you do something. If you do weed every single day for a straight year, you can't just stop the next day of that year. You're going to want to do it more and more. Addiction isn't just, oh, I'm doing this every day, but I'm a bum because I can't stop doing it all of a sudden. Things like this always happen. People are addicted to cigarettes. The people, and I'm not saying weed is on the same level as cigarettes, because it's not. Cigarettes are way worse. But at the end of the day, these are just some examples, you know. You wake up every morning and you hop in the shower. First thing you do for a straight year, you're going to become addicted to that routine. You're going to do that. Cigarettes are addictive. We can become addictive once you do it heavily. But you said you can't get addicted to weed on your first time. Yeah, Meaning, if, I'm not, if you smoke it a second time, that's your fault. You smoke it, then you smoke yes, it your third like I, time. You keep smoking it, then you start to get addicted. So your point that's is, if you get you. addicted, then it's your, it's your fault. It's your fault. You heard it here first, and thank you for listening to our talk show, Team Talk. Um, we'll be back next time.